Hey everyone, today we're going to install one of our solid layer door decals for the 2015 Dodge Charger. I've went ahead and cut out the tools that I'll need. This comes with the decal. This is actually an alignment tool. We're going to install it right here. It's going to tell us where to put the main decal on the car so that we get a perfect alignment and we don't have to pull out a tape measure or anything. So first thing I'm going to do is clean off the door sill. This is where your foot gets in and out of the car. Um, mine is quite clean because we've been prototyping this product and this is just alcohol and water like we give you in our install kits. But if this isn't smooth to the touch, then you should use a clay bar. We do have a little clay kit that would help you clean that up or use whatever detailer or uh, products that you like. But you want that to be smooth to the touch and you don't want there to be any wax or anything. So your final wipe, just use the alcohol and water and you'll be safe. So to start this install, after you've got the decal cut out, I'm just gonna take this first tool. This isn't very important and exactly where it goes. So we're just gonna put it to where it's right below. And just kind of run it down the sill of the car. You can pull off this transfer paper if you want. Really doesn't matter. When we're done with the install, we're gonna be removing this piece. It's just a temporary installation. But now we know exactly where to put this decal. You'll see when I cut the backing paper away from this decal, I try to get as close as I can to this edge because this is going to slide right up into where this metal makes a turn. Final wipe right there. Now we'll just remove the decal from its backing paper. It is a dry application, cast vinyl, so we don't need to use any water or liquid. It's just important that we get it nice and snug up into that spot where the metal bends. I'm just starting the decal about, I might be an eighth of an inch past that little alignment tool. You can be an eighth or a quarter. It really, it's not super um, exacting. You can be as exact as you want. So I've just tacked the decal down here. I've tacked it down here after we installed it, maybe a quarter of an inch past this alignment decal. And we're just gonna use the squeegee to make sure that we have a nice even application on the top flat surface. And now we're gonna try to work it down and around. You will need a little heat for this process um, or it makes things a little bit easier. It's pretty hot right now. You'll notice whenever I work my way around this, I'm not just pushing in one spot and trying to apply it because you'll inevitably end up with a crease right here. I work my way slowly down around evenly. This transfer paper is actually a little bit stretchable, which is why I'm using a little heat. See, I kind of use a chopping motion there, right to that corner, lay that down. Now, the little heat, you can see any area where you haven't put enough pressure kind of go back behind and then remove the transfer paper. Be careful when you're removing the transfer paper just in case you didn't get an edge perfectly locked down. It doesn't pull it up and warp. So I'm always watching right where the vinyl and transfer paper are at to make sure that I'm getting a clean release. There we go, now final thing, now that we got the transfer paper off, is do just a final pressure application with the squeegee. And that's a completed front door uh, sill decal in the solid layer. The only thing left to do is remove this alignment decal. And we're all done. All right, now we're gonna do the rear uh, door sill application. First thing is, you can see I went ahead and cut out the decal and glued this little like, tomahawk ax. It's, uh, it's an alignment decal. And then we've also cut out the rear. We cut out as close to the uh, edge as possible because that's gonna slide right into here, just like the front. First thing we do is remove our tool, just like that. And you see the front of this plastic door sill here? That's gonna line up with the bottom of the handle just like the decal, it slides right up towards the crease. You just apply it and remove the paper. I'm actually gonna remove this piece as well. 
just like that. So you have this one piece left on the car. That one piece is going to um, be the front edge of this door sill decal. So we just got the decal off the backing paper. We're going to take that front edge and just line it up with that tool. Try to get the decal pressed back into this. You can always pop it up. I'm not using a lot of tension at this point. There you go. You can see, always work of top edge first. Might have turned in just a hair. It's good because we still have the transfer paper and the vinyl is repositionable. Just gonna lift it off. Try to get it down a little bit better. There we go. And now using pressure from the back forward out that way, I'm just gonna apply the top of the decal to the door sill. There we go. So we have the majority of the top done. And now just work our way around the corner. You can see how this is kind of flaring up. That's because we're gonna actually put a little tension on it to get it to make that turn. A little heat's gonna make that easier. You may actually be able to do this with a hair dryer as well. Since we're not really post heating, we're just softening the material. You can already see it start to fold and lay down. So now it's a lot easier to work around that edge. There we go, last thing to do, remove the transfer paper. Had a couple little creases right there, but just pressing those out with my finger, I was able to get rid of them. And we'll remove the alignment tool. And that install's finished.